Your customers can more than likely get what you sell from someone else. They can also get all the information they need in seconds to help them make an informed decision. So how can you compete? The companies that are growing and excelling in today's marketplace are those that have taken a new approach to sales. These next five tips will help you reassess your sales process and get started on a better way to sell. Today's sales environment is vastly different than it was just five years ago. Whether you're selling business to business or business to consumer, sales cycles are longer and customers have more choices. Today we're going to show you five ways to improve how you sell. Assess your team. Do you have the right people in the right roles? Every successful sales team has both hunters and farmers. The role of the hunter is to find and nurture new opportunities while the farmer ensures that the customer stays and grows with you over the long term. Not every salesperson is a hunter and some aren't farmers. Each role requires a very distinct set of skills and personality. In order for your team to be successful, they need to be in the right role. Take the time to properly assess each of your employees and determine where they best fit. Build skills. Don't just train people, develop them. The days of closing people and overcoming objections are over. They died in the 80s. To be successful today, you need to be able to listen, generate ideas, and be a resource of information. Today's salesperson needs skills that allow them to build trust and rapport, as well as the ability to take their time and get to know the customer. Traditional sales training is nothing more than a band-aid. The best place to start is by teaching your sales team to think not just about the individual sale, but about the customer. If you win a customer, the sales take care of themselves. Stop selling. Focus on your value, not your products and services. Your customers are smart, educated, and looking for more than just a deal. They're looking for confidence, intelligence, and someone who's looking out for them. So starting today, focus on having conversations. Not about what you sell, but about your customer's world. Learn about what's important to them and help them find solutions, even if that means they can't buy it from you. This will raise you above all of your competitors and put you in a category all by yourself. Remember, people like to buy from people they know, like, and trust. 90-Day Plans Actions speak louder than words. Salespeople can talk a good game, but success comes down to execution. By having each of your salespeople create a 90-day plan, they are making a commitment to achieve their goals. The plan should include what new accounts they want to target, what existing accounts they want to grow, what tools and resources they'll need and use, competitive information, and numbers, such as appointments, calls, demos, and meetings. By working in 90-day increments, it makes their goals seem easier to reach, and as a manager, this process is simple to manage. Accountability and follow-up. What gets managed, gets done. Numbers don't lie. It's critical to meet with each individual of your team on a weekly basis and review their plan. This will ensure they are on track and will help you identify where they need help. You'll also be able to share with them what's working for other members of your team. Selling is about confidence. By meeting with you weekly, your salesperson knows you have their best interests in mind and they'll never feel like they're falling behind. So as you can see, there's a better way to sell if you stay focused on these five tips. Assess your team's abilities and skills. New skills are required in today's market. Be a resource and the sale will happen. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Hold your people accountable. So follow these five tips and you'll develop a better way to sell. We'll see you next time on Trigger TV.